I tend to be a user type of person to manually do things on my own. One thing that I am very disappointed in is the fact that we have dragged automatically animations for 2K15. And so here's an example that I am using right now. Now, I am now manually dragging the opponent across the ring. And I don't have any problem with that. What I would rather have is to have, you know, be dragged by either the shoulders or by the legs. He anticipated that move perfectly. But what a fierce hang kick. on, let me give a uh, a perfect example of uh, oh, an automatically oh, dragged animation. Give me one second. And what I'm doing again is I'm manually dragging the opponent. This is a automatic drag animation and you know this is something that, that I was. do not like something that needs to be improved why not actually have the ability to use either the triggers or both the L2 and R2 buttons for PS4 users to manually drag the opponent this is another example uh, dragging the opponent to the center of the ring this is something that also needs to be improved on so Moving we forward. briefly discuss about drag animations that are automatic on the canvas here are a few examples of the drag animations from standing up Yoko, one of my favorite and stories this is a much bigger WWE opponent in the big show is when the big show talks about growing up in south carolina and being a huge as you can see by you know, the giant. weight he was oh. three and was one of the only people i ever heard of that rooted for andre to beat hulk Hogan. okay so Imagine now that. this uh -oh. is me manually dragging uh, the big, big, big show around the ring and i don't like that animation from the standpoint that Whoa. you know going up against the big show out of all people big that's a uh, that yeah. poor Can't way of showing simulation towards the wrestling crowd so here I can have the big show go into the ropes real quick and and I mean it applies for everything you know Show counters. Uh oh, it might be time to run. Big so, Show's in trouble. Let me get the Big Show into the turnbuckle. And I think the same thing applies when going to the outside of the ring. Here we go, outside of the ring, and there are no countouts in this match. Uh oh, what are we gonna see here? And so. To me, this is just a poor representation of what a uh, simulation game looks like. Moving forward, I would like to see 2K bring back these type of animations for drag animations. Again, 2K really does need to go back and look at the past games of SmackDown vs. Raw and WWE. This, these are ways of help improving the game to make it better again this is a small competitor in myself versus a big competitor in the big show and this is why i'm talking about right here the drag animations for the leg and the drag animations for the head as well this is something that really does need to do looking forward you can still use the drag animations for to get into the turnbuckle you can still use the these drag animations to help so Cole, you got any predictions? get the opponent uh, to the um, ropes I mean, right now I've been having oh, some difficulty uh, doing these type of animations with the big show because it's so a much harder difficulty you, because I see so you can have the ability the to Going to the turnbuckle and the ability to stay in the ropes. You know, Cole, I'd ask you who you were pulled for in this match, but I think it's the fuck. Pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. 
I never claim to be completely objective, Taz. It's no secret I respect superstars who stick within the rules and show some sportsmanship in the ring. You gotta understand, Cole, I know it ain't exactly kosher, but you're putting your body on the line in there. You gotta do whatever it takes to protect yourself and pick up the win. Cash, you're talking about two different things. Going outside the rules in the name of self-defense is one thing, but cheating to steal a victory and enhance your own career is something completely different. Night after night, the WWE superstars never fail to amaze the fans. And that's a good thing, Cole. I don't ever want to think about where we'd be if they didn't. Well, we wouldn't be sitting here calling this... Oh, my God! There's a reason that's called a finishing move. The match usually doesn't go much longer. He's taking some serious damage. His opponent isn't fooling around here. Yeah, no kidding. You can't let someone keep working you over like that. He's going for the pin, Cole. One, two, three. It sounds like this could... 